Welcome back to Art Practice ASMR. In this video, I draw Eva Unit 8 from the third Rebuild of Evangelion movie. And I was actually planning on talking about the Rebuild movies in this video because I had recently watched all three of them for the third time, but I've actually been more depressed than usual recently. Some things in my life that I couldn't control happened, and it's really been bringing me down. And anyway, I thought that a video on the EVA series would be a pretty good video to talk about depression, especially since the series was written by Hideaki Anno during his most depressing time in his life. So I thought that there would be so many parallels that it would be stupid to not do this. So, I'm pretty much just gonna talk about some of my problems, and then I'll try to relate them to the EVA franchise. Before I watched EVA, I heard the same memes that everybody else hears about the series, like, get in the robot Shinji and just Shinji Kari is a pussy and stuff like that and honestly I kind of expected him to be a really annoying character like as annoying as everyone says but I watched the series and honestly I found him to be one of the most relatable characters or maybe the only relatable character in that series I think that's because he was written to mirror Anno's experiences. Like he was basically supposed to be a representation of Anno. And I think that personal touch of writing a character who is depressed and has social anxiety. I think that touch of having a creator who has experienced the same thing really made him relatable to me and probably others who have experienced similar things, but I do find a lot of aspects of him relatable and I touched on it in my insecurities video, but I have pretty significant social anxiety, and there's an entire episode of Eva that's called Hedgehog's Dilemma, and it's basically about how Shinji is alienated by other students and how he alienates himself from the world around him, and they use the analogy of hedgehogs in the winter. They need to get close to each other for body heat, but since they're spiky little creatures, they poke each other with their quills, and they desperately need the body heat, but they can't get close to each other. So they need to figure out how to compromise, or they freeze. And I think that's a very good analogy from my experience with social anxiety, where I'm afraid of getting too close to people, because I know that one day I will mess up and push people away. 
and I'm always afraid that I would do that. Another aspect that I've personally done in my life is Shinji always has a Walkman with him, and he's listening to some tape, and he says that he listens to music so he can drown out the world around him, and I have done the same, and I still do the same, where I just put in my headphones and listen to music that mirrors how I feel, and I just try to drown out everything and get lost in myself for something that doesn't sound pretentious. And I think a lot of people do that, even if they aren't depressed or anxious. It's like music can increase whatever emotion it is you're feeling, and I feel like people who aren't depressed still do that, and they try to enjoy every moment or enhance whatever it is they're doing by drowning out the world with music. It's kind of cool how stuff like that happens. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm saying. Another theme that can relate to real life is in my life I find myself thinking I wish I could go back in time and fix all of my problems using the information that I know now. You know, I'll right all my wrongs and try to make a happier life for myself and that does come up in Eva, where there's this thing called the Human Instrumentality Project and the Third Impact, and it's basically, this is going to be like a really condensed version of what it is, but the concept is basically humans can't evolve because we shape the world to accommodate us, unlike animals, where they accommodate to the world. So humans aren't really evolving because we're shaping the world to accommodate us. So a secret organization called Sele devised a plan called the Human Instrumentality Project to cause a third impact, which is basically the apocalypse, and they would rewrite the world so humans can have a false evolution and things will be changed to how they want it. And Shinji is given the chance to rewrite the world how he sees fit. And he is shown all these different scenarios and there are bad scenarios and then there's a scenario where his life is reshaped so that it's basically like a slice of life comedy anime and it was actually a really good bit. People shit on the last two episodes of the show a lot, but I, hon I honestly think that the last episode at least is just as good if not better than the second half of the End of Evangelion movie. Controversial opinions aside, it was a really cool bit where they're, Shinji's basically seeing different options for life and how he can shape the world, and then he's told that he could choose a way to make his life happier, but other people's lives may be altered, and other people won't be able to live a happy life and in making his own life immediately better, other people's lives could be ruined. And then he's told that love and peace are always within him, but he needs to find them on his own, and that there will always be a time when he's sad, but there will also always be a time that he's happy. And it's basically a roller coaster that 
begins when you're born and ends when you die. And you just need to appreciate each happy moment and live your life like that. And a lot of people were confused by the end of Evangelion, but if there's anything that you should take from that movie, I would take that. That life is a roller coaster and you should appreciate the happy moments and just know that after every really sad moment, there will be a new happy one. And you may not be able to see it, but it's pretty much guaranteed that even if you've hit rock bottom, things will become at least slightly better. Anyway, that's that. I've been recording for a long time, so I guess I'm going to stop it here. There's going to be light music at the end of the video, so if you're if you hate that kind of stuff, then you should stop watching now. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you want to see more of my content, then subscribe. And I hope you have a good night's rest.